Want to go outside? It doesn't feel right to you to the room of a girl living alone. Are you stupid? We're here to visit. We can't take her outside. She needs to rest. You're the idiot, Toma. You worry way too much. And that was three days ago, wasn't it? You seem fine now. It'd be better to walk around a bit. What will you do? Sorry for showing up all of a sudden just to tell you this, but don't push yourself. Well, your body is fine already, right? If it wasn't for the thing with Yukio, we'd love to go and get some fresh air outside, but are with you, there shouldn't be anything to worry about. Maybe you should talk about it. That doesn't make it a love triangle. She said that too. It would seem so. Sounds like it was one sided. He could have been a part of it. But I haven't seen him lately. I even had a talk with the manager about it. Maybe he changed his strategy. You should be careful, like your boyfriend said. Maybe I won't be able to get to the 25th probably on here. 
because it's the 24th, the day before. We might talk about the feelings, though. We'll find out. Doorbell. Oh, you have a visitor. Who could it be today? Wait, it's Kent. Wait, why is he here? The conference is tomorrow. Is he done preparing? Uh, I guess you should just open the door for now. Hello, Kent. Mind if I come in for a while? No, not at all. <laughs> I was contacted by Sawa. It seems things are progressing. How much have you remembered? What did you remember, and what did you think about it? Do you still think it's okay to talk to me? You won't try to run me off? It is okay for me to be away from you now. While I'm away, will you start thinking that you don't want to see me anymore? It seems a male friend of yours visited yesterday, and it's always that he really helped to cheer you up. What kind of relationship do you two have? Is he able to provide something to you that I can't? What's going on? He seemed to be really flustered. I already know that you're a woman who can form friendships with men as well. Friends are friends, and nothing more than that. I understand yet, I start thinking that I could lose you, and it's dreadful. You'll remember things I don't want you to remember, and someone else besides me will ease your pain. I start to think that even if at this very moment you dislike me just like you did before. I can't stop thinking about such ideas, and I can't do anything. I refuse to have you come over, yet in the end, I couldn't help but come here and check on you. This is ridiculous, I'm starting to dislike myself. But still, I couldn't just sit by and do nothing. Tell me, Amaya, what did you remember? I see, not yet at least. I wonder when those memories will return, likely not too long from now. To be honest, it's painful just waiting for that day to come. I start wanting to talk to you about it, but I'm afraid to talk about it. When I think that I can make you cry again, I become so afraid and confused. Do you mind telling Kit what I'm about to tell you? There's something I want to tell him, and as an outsider, there's something that might be helpful to hear from my perspective. Ready? What is it? The spirit wants to talk? Um, Kent, no matter what she remembers, I believe that she won't look at you the same way as before. You know that, right, Amaya? She's seen the kind side of you this whole time. This is the same as before when all she knew was your crappy and unsociable self. you to write this down to. Hmm, ah, uh-huh, then let me repeat. From my point of view, I believe that she truly does like you now, Kent. I don't know her true feelings, and I know even less about how she felt before losing her memories, but regardless of how she felt before, she's gained something over the last few weeks. I've also learned that she's not very honest with her own feelings either. It wouldn't be easy for her to start disliking you. You were the same, right, Kent? Before losing her memory, she had a pretty cold attitude towards you, but you didn't start to dislike her for it, right? Or do you really think that if there was one thing that you didn't like, you'd start disliking each other for it? Ah, I see. That's right. I truly believe that her attitude is irritating, but I just di but I didn't dislike her for it. I was constantly annoyed, but I still liked her. I always wanted to hear her voice, even if it was just her contempt. Must be crazy. Maybe, but I think she feels the same way now. Just checking, but this really was a message from the spirit, right? You're not writing this yourself. No. You don't have to nod in such desperation. I believe you. I was just checking to be sure. I fully understand the spirit's good intentions. However, since this opinion isn't her own, I can't use this as a proper reference. Wait, what? There's more I wanted to say. What am I trying to say is... Don't be afraid of being disliked. You need to talk to her about everything you're worried about. As long as she can't remember, even if she does like you, she won't be able to say it with absolute certainty. You just remain in the book, Kent. That's why you should tell her about what happened in the past, the thing you don't want her to know. It'll be okay. I'll consider it. Sorry, but I don't have enough determination at the moment. But I'll consider it for the future. Is that enough for now? Okay, I got it. Just think about it. Thank you, Amaya. Sorry for butting in like that. But as long as your feelings aren't settled and Kip holds on to this misunderstanding, the situation will be able to
able to improve. I think you both need to gather up some courage. Anyway, I want you to do your best at the conference tomorrow. We'll both come to watch. You'll come to watch? Would you even be able to understand the contents of my thesis? Ah, uh, that. No, you wouldn't really understand, but this is a matter of support. We'll be there to cheer you on, even if we don't get what you're talking about. Right, Amaya? In other words, I've got another assignment. I need to explain it in a way that even you'll understand. I'll return to the university. Now that I have a goal, I believe I'll be able to concentrate. You can look forward to tomorrow. I may have to improvise, but I'll stand on stage and explain it as if I'm speaking directly to you. And he's off. That's great, Amaya. Let's cheer him on. I got like three more minutes, and I'm probably going to have to cut this off early. <laughs> it's the day of kids' conference before we know it. I wonder if he's making the final preparations now. And what time does it start? We never actually ask. No, sorry, I was trying to find out where it was. Maybe we should call Yiki and ask. We still need to come up with the time to meet. Are you okay? It, it hurts. Ow. Did that car hit me? Huh? What is this? Why do I remember this feeling? <laughs> Kiro! No, Kiro, wake up. Kiro, Kiro. Oh, Kiro's gonna be Yu-Gi-Oh! Don't die! Kiro! It seems you ran over her dog with... Oh, no! The dog just jumped out of nowhere and I know there's no fault on your part, but as you can see, the dog is gravely injured. Do you feel at least some responsibility? It seems to still be breathing. Can you help us bring the dog to the veterinarian? Uh, yes, of course. There you go, Amaya. Carry the dog into the car. Uh, oh, he was there when that happened. How did I forget this? Crew isn't here. The dog I brought from home. We were always together, but not anymore. He died back then. He isn't here anymore. I see. Am I going to end up the same way? Hmm. Uh, hello, Maya. Sorry it took so long. Who are you? What, a nurse? An accident? She was an accident? No, I'm just a friend. I see. Okay, I'll understand. I'll tell him. Thank you very much. Ken! What is it? The slide's just finished burning. Oh, I see, that's good, but that doesn't matter right now. Calm down and listen carefully. Maya was involved in an accident. Maya called her cell phone just now. Someone at a hospital answered it. They brought her in and were asking if she had any family around her. Apparently, she's still unconscious, but her injuries were light, and there are no abnormalities in her brainwaves, so she should be fine. 
Kin, do you know the contact information for her family? Her family lives far away. I doubt even if she knows the number to the contact them herself. What, is her family situation that complicated? There are various circumstances, and the only one who knows her situation it would be appropriate for me to go as a substitute, but it's already time. Her injuries are light, correct? That's what the nurse is saying. Thank you. What would you do at a time like this? This presentation is important, and it could have heavy burn on my life. But the woman I'm dating was involved in an accident and was brought to the hospital despite her injuries being light. Would it really be okay for me to leave her like this? Ken, I can't answer that. This is something for you to decide. Do what you feel is right. Would it be possible to change the order of the presentations? I don't have much time until the conference begins. If I can do my presentation first, it shouldn't take much time to finish. Wait right here. I'll go negotiate with the committee. No, I'll back you up. I think I'm better at convincing people it would be the best that the person in charge was a woman. You have my thanks, EQ. No. A hospital? I'm still alive. Looks like I didn't. Join Kuro. Oh, right, I remember. Back then I told Kent, I hate you. Oh, we're about to get so serious. <laughs> get these outros and intros down pat <laughs> I thought I maybe was going to be able to edit this video to the next one until I realized this video is almost 20 minutes long it's not very just yet but can be so I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a like and if you want to see more things like this maybe even some platform game platform games give me a subscribe because I don't do just these but these are kind of fun Anywho, I hope you're having a good day. This is Madame Mara signing out. Toodaloo, YouTube.